an anti-air capability. So there's five modules here, which have eight cells each, and each cell contains either a medium-range uh, anti-air missile, the standard missile two, or it contains four uh, short-range uh, missiles, the evolved Sea Sparrow missile. So in 32 cells, we've got a mix of these uh, short-range and longer-range uh, uh, anti-air weapons. Um, and the SM-2, the, the medium-range missiles, allow us to protect a, tar uh, a task group up to uh, greater distances. So it's not just for the protection of the ship itself, but for the protection of a bigger force, which could be an amphibious force, or uh, for example, the carrier strike group is a bigger force, more ships, and uh, our air defense umbrella would cover the entire uh, task group. Modules of eight cells. So 40, uh, 40 cells in, the, in total. Either four evolved sea sparrow missiles or one standard missile. Too. So it, it depends what mix you take. You can, if you want to go for long range, you have more SM2. Radar, it's got four plates. Uh, that, that radar is for the guidance of the missiles. Uh, it, uh, it's capable of tracking uh, huge amounts of uh, targets and can uh, guide 16 missiles in final flight uh, to the target uh, simultaneously. So where on older ships you need one fire control radar per missile, and this radar can do uh, 16 at a time. Um, it's a 127 millimeter gun, or 5 inch if you choose uh, the American way of saying it. Um, the ships uh, of this class will be uh, uh, refitted with a, a new gun, so these will eventually be uh, phased out and we'll get new uh, turrets on here. And the new gun will be uh, capable of um, using GPS-guided long-range uh, ammunition, volcano ammunition, which ranges up to 